Today, we are pitting Miner 69er against Motherlode in Seven Days to Die Alpha 20. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Recently, we took a look at the Strength Attribute, and one of the perk categories in the Strength Attribute is the Construction Perks, Miner 69er and Motherlode. Now, each of these perks increase your resources Source gathering abilities in different ways. But which one increases your resource gathering more? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out today as we pit Miner 69er against Motherlode. This is going to be a head-to-head -head battle, perk versus perk. We will see which one comes out on top. So for today's experiment, I've created a brand new character, and I've leveled him up just enough so he can max out either Motherlode or Miner 69er. My character has no other attributes or perks. I haven't read any books, and I will not be using any mods on my equipment. For the first round of tests, we're going to be using a quality one stone axe with the caveat that the stone axe must be fully repaired at the end of the round. Now this head-to-head -head matchup is a bit more complicated. That's because mother load directly increases the amount of resources you gather. However, minor 69er increases the block damage that your tool will do. So how exactly are we going to pit these two perks against each other? Well, as you see here, I have 10 stone stone pallets set up and ready to go. We're gonna use our quality one stone axe, starting with mother load at level one. At exactly 13.05, I will start breaking down these stone pallets. We will time how long it takes to break all 10 pallets, repair our stone axe, and put the rest of the resources in a box. Then we're gonna move on to level one of minor 69er. Once again, I will start breaking blocks at 13. 1505, and I will continue to gather resources until the exact same amount of time has passed. So for instance, if we start at 1305 and it takes one in-game hour to break all 10 blocks with mother load, that means that Miner 69er has one in-game hour to gather resources. Once the time has elapsed, we will repair our stone axe and put the remaining resources in the box. Then we will compare our results from mother load level one to our results from Miner 69er level one. Whichever perk has managed to gather the most resources in that test will be declared the winner of that round. Then we will reset for level two and repeat all the way up to level five. So our stage is set, our competitors are ready to roll. Let's get this fight underway. Wanna ring the bell? All right, ding, ding. As I stated in the setup, we are going to start with Mother Load. We have Mother Load at level one. Our stone axe is in hand. Let's get ready to start gathering that stone. Once the clock hits 13.05, we come out swinging and we will continue to break down these blocks until all 10 blocks have been broken. And block number 10 was broken at 13.44. After we repair our stone axe, that leads leaves us with a total of 598 stones collected. Now it is Miner 69er's turn. So we've reset our character and got Miner 69er up to level one. At 13.05, we start swinging and collecting that stone. We continue swinging until 13.44, give our stone ax a repair, and we are left with a total of 651 stone collected. That means, ladies and gentlemen that the winner of round one is Miner 69er. This perk was able to gather 53 more stone than Motherlode. Let's prepare our combatants for level two. Once again, we start off with Motherlode. Let's get this up to level two. Motherlode can start its run at 1305 and we'll see how long it takes to break down all 10 blocks. And the last block was broken at 1343. 
Once we get our stone axe repaired and ready to go, we are left with 688 stones collected. Now it's Miner 69ers turn. Let's get our Miner 69er up to level two. And once the clock hits 1305, we start collecting them resources. And when the time runs out, we give our stone axe one more repair and we are left with 852 stones collected. That means that the winner of round two is Miner 69er, beating out Motherload by a total of 164 stones collected. Miner 69er has taken rounds one and two, but let's reset for level three and see if Motherload can mount a comeback because it has taken some hits. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. This head-to-head -head matchup seems to be going Miner 69ers way. Let's see if Motherload can catch up in level three. Once again, resource harvesting will start at 13.05, and the 10th block has been broken at 13.42. Once we repair our stone axe, we are left with 798 stones collected by Motherload. Will this be enough to take round three? Let's see what Miner 69er has to say about that. I must break you. So we'll bump Miner 69er up to level three. Once our time ticks over to 1305, we come out swinging. Miner 69er continues to gather until the time hits 1342. We give our stone axe a quick repair and we are left with a total of 948 stones collected. Now Motherload did do a little bit better in round three than it did in round two, but honestly that could be due to human error. Needless to say, Miner 69er still takes takes this round, collecting 150 more stones than Motherload. Let's reset for level four. We've got Motherload bumped up to level four. It's time to start collecting that stone. Once we hit 1305, we start breaking blocks and the clock stops at 1342. Once we repair our stone axe, we are left with 888 stones collected by Motherload. Let's see how how Miner 69er does. We'll get this perk up to level four, and once the time hits 1305, we start collecting. Breaking blocks and gathering stone all the way up until 1342. Give our stone axe a quick repair, and we are left with 1,059 stone collected by Miner 69er. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Miner 69er comes out on top, yielding 171 more stone than Motherload. This head-to-head -head matchup is quickly becoming a blowout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's reset for level five. We are ready to go with the last round of our head-to-head -head matchup. Let's bump Motherload up to level five and get this party started. Once the time hits 1305, we come out of swinging and we break block number 10 at 1342. Once our axe is back to full health, we take a look at our stone collected and we are left with 998 stone. Now it is Miner 69ers turn. Let's bump this bad boy up to level five and take our position. Once the time hits 1305, we start gathering resources. We gather all the way up until the timer hits 1342, give our stone ax a quick repair, and we are left with 1,248 stone. Meaning this fight is over, ladies and gentlemen, and this was a landslide.
Miner69 er took down every single round, winning round five with 250 more stone collected than Motherload. An absolutely dominant victory for the Miner69 er perk. However, I think Miner69 er may have actually been holding back. I believe that this fight could have been even more lopsided. That's because not only does Miner69 er increase the amount of block damage that your tools do, it also unlocks the ability to craft iron tools as well as increase the quality level of the tools that you craft. So what happens if we use the full benefits of the Miner 69er perk? Well, we're gonna redo our level one test, but this time we're gonna use a quality two iron pickaxe. Just to remind you of the mother loads results from the level one test, collection started at 1305 and the last block was broke at 1344 with a total of 598 stone collected. So we have our minor 69er set to level one. We have our quality two iron pickaxe in hand. And once that timer hits 1305, we come out swinging. Once the time rolls over to 1344, minor 69er has gathered a total of 900 stone. That is 302 more stone than mother load. So now let's get really crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Let's redo the level five test. Only this time, we'll allow Miner 69er to use the full benefit of its perk, meaning we will do this round with a quality five iron pickaxe. In level five, Mother Load was able to collect 998 stone and the last block was broken at 1342. So let's bump our Miner 69er up to level five. We'll whip out our quality five iron pickaxe. And once that time hits 1305, we start swinging. At 1342, we take a look at our stone collected and we we have a whopping 1,600 stone collected. That is 602 more stone than Mother Load was able to gather. Absolutely insanely lopsided results. So what have we learned today, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I think it is safe to say that Miner 69er is much more effective at increasing your resource gathering ability. Not only can you gather more resources, you also get the added benefit of better tools. This widens the gathering gap even more. So if you have to make a choice between Miner 69er and Motherload, Miner 69er is hands down the way to go. But now I'd like to hear what you all think. Were you surprised by the results of today's experiments? Let me know in the comment below. And if you found this video helpful and or enjoyable and would like to check out some more seven days to die alpha 20 perk and attribute videos i've created a very special playlist that you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen but for now this is seven saying thank you ladies and gentlemen and i'll catch you in the next one want to ring the bell all right ding ding